How's it going guys? This is Sancho Bogut. This is a quick little pre-video to my video just to let you guys know the colors for the video this week are negatives. The colors were reversed. I had some kind of problem with my screen recorder. It was kind of like a cataclysmic breakdown where the whole video messed up the colors and I couldn't fix it. I tried re-recording it like three or four times. Just wasn't doing it so I finally decided just to roll with it. And actually I think it looks kind of sick. Although obviously it's the wrong colors from what it should be. I hope it isn't too distracting and you guys just can't handle it. I should be back to normal next week. It should be a little bit better. But this is what I had to do for this week. I'm sorry about that. It should be fine. Let me know if you guys think it's just an atrocity. Hope you guys stick through it anyway. It's a pretty good one. I enjoy it. Uh, spoiler, I kill some things. So uh, I hope you guys have a good time watching the video. Have a great weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Hello. How's it going? My name is Sancho Bogut. This is my fourth or fifth type showdown video for the Lithio channel. We've been pretty successful so far, so the point of this series is basically just I pick a mega, I don't pick a mega, uh, people give me suggestions for a mega and out of those I'll pick a mega or it could be a theme team, so it could be like Rain or Trick Room or Sand something and I use it and I use it on showdown we try to see how well it works how well things go together uh, what helps good synergy so this hope this hopefully helps people uh, maybe come up with some ideas for teams they want to use or combinations and it also helps me because I'm not the best team builder so that's something I definitely want to get better at so this week we are using Mega Metagross uh, Mega Metagross is probably gonna get banned at some point it's one of the strongest megas in the game I was going to use Mega Metacham. This is actually my third attempt at recording this video. The first time, uh, the whole video was like 31 minutes. It was really good. I won every battle. Technically I lost the last one, but it was a dude who baton passed a bunch of boosts into a stored power Espeon, but he left right before he killed me. So I won. I mean, you know, scoreboard. So that didn't go so well because when I went to edit it, for some reason all the colors were in negatives, which I couldn't fix, and there's a big green bar going right through the middle of the screen, so it was unusable. And my second attempt was about five minutes ago, where I took a sip of water, hit record, and then started coughing for like two minutes. So, I mean, I don't know how much you guys want to listen to a minute and a half of me coughing. I mean, it's basically been a minute and a half of me rambling so far, so maybe that's coughing's preferable, who knows. Let me know in the comments if coughing is preferable to me talking, and I'll take that into consideration. So, like every other video, you guys tell me who you want me to use in the comments down below. It doesn't have to be a mega, it can be a certain set or combination of guys or a theme team, whatever you want, but we're trying to build up as much a reserve of guys as we can, because if I run out of guys, I have to use Mega Audino, which keeps getting suggested to me, and I'd rather release every Pokemon on my LBA team than do that. So the more you can, I have one suggestion for next week, so we have at least a little bit of a buffer. Next week I might try to do a little bit of a different kind of video, uh, so I'm not sure if that'll pan out, but we're going to try though. So let me know what you guys think. Also, the LBA season is starting up on Monday, which is really, really exciting. Uh, I'm the coach, president, GM, owner, uh, life coach, all that of the Seattle Sanchers, and we are known as the season four champion of the LBA. I think this is season four. Maybe it's season five, but we're going to win this year. So this team, like I said, has Mega Metagross. It also has Dragonite, which is a really, really nice cover for it. They complement each other perfectly and they're both so threatening. Then I have Chansey as a special wall, sorry Tyler. I have a uh, physically defensive Landorus T because I see so many of them I decided to use them. I never use Landorus. I don't even have one that I can use on a Wi-Fi team. I have Starmie to help spin away rocks that are a problem for that Dragonite. And I like Starmie as an offensive spinner because he's really fast, he forces a lot of switches because if you stay in, you'll die because he has great coverage. My set is, I don't have Psy Shock on it, I might change that. Although I have Zen Headbutt on Metagross, but he has the Beam Bolt combo of Ice Beam Thunderbolt and I gave him Scald. And then I have Choice Specs Raikou, which is one of my favorite Volt Switchers. He's really, really good, he forms a pretty good uh, Volt turn core with Landorus. And the whole point of this team is just to kind of beat guys down a little bit. Uh, maybe set up with Dragonite if I can, and then just poke holes and then just have Metagross come in and just kill everything. Because he's really, really good at that. So we are three minutes in and we haven't got a battle yet. Almost four, so we're going to try to find a couple. I hope this goes as well as my Metagram video did, because it killed everything. So this guy has a pretty interesting team. He's got a little bit of sand going on. He's got probably Scarf Chandelure, because especially in OU, that's really the only set you see. Because it's not the fastest. He's got the always annoying and somewhat dickish Rotom Wash. That thing is a problem. 
I have Lumberry on my Dragonite, so if I can get him in and get up a Dragon Dance before he brings in that Rotom, uh, I'll be in good shape. I obviously gotta worry about the Mammoth Swine, because that's a big check for both Metagross and Dragonite. So I believe he will lead with Rotom or Tyranitar. I think he will probably... What's nice is that he doesn't... Uh, outside of his own Metagross, which doesn't want to take an Earthquake, he doesn't have a lot of switches for my Metagross. He has Rotom, but Rotom doesn't want to take a couple Zen Headbutts. So I think he's going to lead with Rotom. So uh, being cognizant of that fact, I'm going to lead with Landorus because I think he's going to lead with Tyranitar. I lied. He does neither and leads with Mamoswine, so I'm going to get the Intimidate off. He's most likely just going to set up his rocks. Uh, that would be the smart thing to do. So I'm going to U-turn out. He can Ice Shard me, I'll live it. Wouldn't be ideal. Actually, it's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. Uh, I'm just going to go straight into Starmie. Because I can threaten him out with a Scald or any kind of those shenanigans. And we don't have to worry about it. I don't want to risk... He went right for the Ice Will Crash. And he misses, which is great for us. His attack is down. He can Earthquake me if he wants. But that would be a really dumb move. I'm going to Scald, just fishing for the burn. I'm fully aware he can go into Rotom and resist it. But I just want to get this thing out of here. He also could have gone the floor, just which would have been pretty viable. I don't get the burn, which is pretty unfortunate. This is a bulky Rotom. That didn't... I know it's resisted, but that didn't do a lot. So I think that's probably a specially bulky Rotom. I don't want to take a Thunder move. I don't want to take any kind of Thunder move. So I'm going to go into my Raikou. And I have the Aura Sphere. Which is very, very nice. So he's going to Willow. Smart move by him. I could have stayed in at Thunderbolt to see how much it does. Uh, I think, obviously, the Volt Switch is very, very obvious, and he might try to go into his Mammoth Swine to block it completely. If he's smart, he won't, because Tyranitar is a viable switch in for that, so is Floridus. So I'm just going to go for the Orosphere. Hopefully he goes into Mammoth Swine to try to just completely... He stays in, doesn't take any damage at all, and then he Volt Switches out. So I could have just Volt Switched to get a little bit of damage off and gone to Lando, but you know. Rotomosh is a problem for this team. It's a huge, huge problem. I need to kill that thing. So he goes in the floor just, which isn't very uh, surprising. I'm going to go into Metagross. Metagross walls floor just, just for days on end. He Moonblasts. That does a decent amount of damage, but he's not going to stay in. If he stays in, he's an idiot. I can go right for the Zen Headbutt. He has nothing that won't get too hit KO'd by it outside of Tyranitar, but I'll outspeed Tyranitar and knock it out with the Meteor Mash. So, like I said, he doesn't have a lot of safe switches. He goes right into Chandelure, which just takes all of the damage. And that's a leftover Chandelure, so we know we outspeed. So, we can go for the Zen Headbutt, or we can go for the Meteor Mash. I'm going to go for the Zen Headbutt in case he goes out in the Rotom. He can go into Tyranitar, but he just gets knocked up by a follow -up Meteor Mash. Like I said, Metagross causes a lot of problems. If you don't have a direct counter to him, or check, uh, you're just screwed. Because he can 2 hit K almost everything. He's going to get banned pretty quickly, because Tough Claws boosted anything really, really hurts. And he can even be pretty viable, especially offensive. He gets Grass Knot, which is really good, because Grass Knot gets the Tough Claw boost, which is nuts for a special move. And he has a decent special move pool. Obviously not the best, but he can be used as a solid mix guy. So he goes into Tyranitar. No, I'm worried that's a Scarf Tyranitar because of the way he brought it in. But I'm gonna Meteor Mash because I'm afraid he's gonna Pursuit. Nope, he stays and he lives. That's crazy to me. Weakness policy, max defense Tyranitar. So he's gonna knock me out. That sucks. So I just lost a really, really big threat to this guy's team. Uh, that was actually pretty bad. Not gonna lie. So I'm gonna go into Star Army. I can revenge kill him with Scald. Uh, that was a problem. That I wish Metagross didn't die there. That would have been nice. I need to keep my Landorus at the highest health possible. So he's going to get resisted. I don't get the burn, unfortunately. He's uh, just going to Volt Switch, I think. He might Willow. He will it before. I'm going to Thunderbolt just to deal damage because I need this Rome to die. And he goes right for the Volt Switch and knocks me out. So I'm not playing very well right now. I think I'm going to lose this battle because I lost two of my best guys. But now he has to switch into something. That's how these things go. Uh, looking, I could have gone into Chansey initially to save uh, Metagross to kind of scout. He goes into his own Metagross. I'm going to go with Lando T. So at this point, if I can get up a Dragon Dance with Charizard, I'm in good shape. 
So he stays in. He goes. I go for the earthquake. It does over half. He meter mashes. That does over half for him. Uh, so it's going to be a roll as to whether or not I survive this. I'm going to earthquake. And he switches into his Rotom, which is great for me because I can out. Ooh, I don't know if I outspeed. I think I. Yeah, I think I outspeed. So I'm going to go for the Stone Edge to try to knock out this Rotom and just get it destroyed. And that Rotom's gone. So that's a nice little problem for me that's gone. Uh, now, Landorus T can clean up. So I'm going to keep him alive. He can go into Mamoswine now, which is a problem for me, but I'm going to go into Chansey and get a Toxic off. I have a wish for taking Chansey with Toxic. Please don't hit me. Uh, it was a really nice kind of viable dude for this team. I'm going to Toxic. He can go into Metagross, that's fine. Uh, I'm free to... Uh, what's that move? Seismic Toss him. And then he has no switch-ins, so he hammer arms to lower his speed, which is great for me. Because now Landorus uh, outspeeds, and Chansey is an okay thing for me to lose. I know he would have been nice for the Florges, but Florges gets Aromatherapy anyway. So it's not the worst, and now I'm free to go for an Earthquake, which uh, he sacks off his Tyrantar. He makes a smart move. So that's a good move on his part. And we'll see what he does next. The problem is the sand is up, which will break my multi-scale of my Dragonite. So right now, uh, I'm going to... It's not worth it to get the rocks up at this point, so I'm going to Earthquake to break any potential Sash. I live at 1, and I break his Sash with my Landorus, which is really, really nice. So he's going to kill me with an Ice Shard. That's completely fine by me. So now I can go into Dragonite, and my only hope is to Dragon Dance and get off uh, in E-Speed. So it's that 1% HP. I think I'm going to lose this battle. I didn't play it very well. But I'll live an Ice Shard. He goes for the Ice Will Crash, and I get critted. Uh, the crit did matter, because this Dragonite has already survived. Uh, he already survived a couple of those moves initially. So that kind of sucks. Uh, so we're going to lose this first battle. I didn't play very well in this one. I'm just going to War Sphere. It's really all I can do. So I'm going to knock him out, and I'll lose 2-0. Well. So that's kind of not how you want to start off uh, initially. I didn't. I was a little too casual with Metagross. Like obviously he switched in Tyranitar, so we had a plan to kill it. So I could have gone Landorus there. I could have done anything, and he's going to protect stall me with a burn. Yeah, that's what you do. That's the way to do. So I need an Uber crit and to get fully healed. Otherwise, I'm going to lose this. Solid nine percent. So that's a loss. Uh, I think it's the first loss I've had on the series. I'm not going to say GG because I don't like how he tagged it there. That was unnecessarily dickish, and I don't. I will not stand for it. So we're gonna try to get another win. Uh, I don't know where I am in the ladder. I think I'm like 1350-ish around. So I'm at the point where you get decent battles. Uh, this guy's team is just a demonic mess of horribleness. He's got the Lando T. He's got the Noivern. He's got the Azumarill, Keldeo, Metagross, and that Sableye is just hiding behind that Metagross. Sableye's the devil. It's the absolute worst. I don't have a fairy type. I almost packed a fairy type on here just for Mega Sableye, but I like having Starmie a little bit more. So he's probably gonna leave the Lando T. He leads with the Zoom Roll, which is great for me because I'm free to just go for a Thunderbolt. Uh, Thunderbolt's gonna do a lot. It doesn't do anything, so it's an assault vested Zoom Roll. And he misses his play rough. What a great day. So I am going to kind of mess around with this guy a little bit. I'm gonna go in the Lando T. I'm gonna get that nice Intimidate. And he switches into his Metagross, so that feels good for me. I'm going to get up my rocks. I don't believe he's going to stay in, because he doesn't want to take an Earthquake. He'll 2-hit KO. So he goes into his Keldeo. The Chansey switch is absurdly obvious here. Like, just unbelievably obvious. So, I'm not going to make it, because that Secret Sword is a problem. Keldeo is... Actually, Chansey can take a Secret Sword pretty well from... Uh, and he goes right for the Skulls, so most Chanseys are, what's that word, choice? So I'm going to go into my Chansey. He might switch fearing the Thunderbolt, oh, we're going to cancel, we're not going to cancel, we're going we're gonna to have some problems going on around these parts. So I'm going to go to my own Metagross to eat whatever move he wants to go for. He's going to Mega Evolve, and he Rock Polishes. That is horribly, horribly threatening. I'm gonna Mega, I'm gonna Earthquake. We're gonna trade Earthquakes. I'm gonna crit him and kill him. 
Uh, what sucks is that he's now faster. I'm gonna go in the Lando T. It's a little bit of an obvious play, but I want to get that Intimidate off to make him a little bit less strong. And he goes right for the Earthquake. So now he doesn't want to take my move, so I get to go for the U-turn. So we're doing okay so far. He goes into his Noivern, which is great, because I get to do that and bop him a little bit. And go to Chansey. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So Chansey is hard counter. Now I don't think he's going to go directly into that Metagross. Because Metagross doesn't want to take... Uh, well, if he goes to Metagross, I can just follow up my Toxic with a Seismic Toss. I would like to pass a Wish off to my Metagross at some point, but I don't think now is the time to do it. See, he goes into his Lander Astarian, and I get a Toxic off on him, which is great, because I can keep getting that residual damage. I need to weaken his Landorus, that way my Dragonite can get killed by his Azumarill. Uh, Dragonite is actually kind of shut down by this team. Everything on his team can check it pretty well. Uh, even though I have the Lumberry, uh, his Sableye's Priority Willow was so my moves don't really matter. I'm going to Seismic Toss. I'm not afraid of this thing at all. Yep, he's just going to U-turn out. So I'm going to hope he goes... I could have wished there, thinking about it. But, you know, hindsight's 2020. So I don't... like My team is incredibly standard, I'm not going to lie. But so is his. So I guess, you know. Battle of the standards. I'm going to protect. I'm going to see what he locks himself into. And he locks himself into a hidden power. I'm going to assume that's ice. I'm gonna fire off a wish. Because now he's. I believe he's choice. Yep, he's choice. So I think there he predicted the seismic toss. What's nice is that the Sableye is not his mega. I'm gonna go into Starmie. He's probably just gonna. Uh, he's not gonna Will O Wisp. Why would you Will O Wisp when they get natural Cory? You schmuck. So he is. His Sableye's out here. I'm gonna hit him with the Scald. Sableye doesn't wanna take that Scald. Uh, at all, actually. And he has kind of limited switches to this. So at just 46%, I would love to have uh, burned him there. But it was not to be. So now that his Sableye is weakened, I'm going to go into my Raikou. I just lost the army for nothing. It kind of sucks. Now, obvious switch is into the Landorus. Like, that is stupidly obvious. But I don't think he's going to make it. He knows I have HP guys. I think he's going to recover up that damage, so I'm going to Thunderbolt. Yep, so that was nice. So I did so much, so he doesn't want to stay in. So obviously all he has for me is that stupid little Landorus T, which is toxic. So I'm going to not go into my dead Starmie. Starmie would be really nice now. So he knows I'm choice, he's going to predict the Thunderbolt, so we know he's going to go in the Landorus. So I think we can almost guarantee that. So I can go into Chansey, which can deal with that Landorus for just days on end, and whittle it down a little bit more, which I think I'm going to do. I like the Chansey switch. He goes into his Metagross, which is very surprising. I'm going to Seismic Toss. Unless he crits me with Hammer Arm, I'll live any hit. He's free to go. He Meteor Meshes and misses, which is just glorious. And Chansey just knocked out a Mega Metagross. That is kind of the best thing I've seen in a while. So he goes in his Landorus. I think he's just going to get up his rocks. I'm going to Seismic Toss. His rocks are fine. Uh, he breaks my Dragonite's multi-scale, which sucks a lot, actually. But we can play around that a little bit. I'm going to wish predicting his little bitchy save alive thingy. And we're going to see what he does. I'm actually interested to see what he's going to do, because he can go into the Keldeo, but I can just protect and see what he locks himself into. He goes into his Azumarill. I'm going to wish. I'm going to fire off a... Ooh, hello. I'm going to pass the wish off to Metagross. He cannot belly drum. Uh, the most he can do is waterfall me. I think Metagross... Metagross has a base 150 defense when he's Mega and he's high HP. I should be able to live any hit and get my wish back. Ooh, 34%. I didn't actually... Damn it, that was such a waste. I would have lived the waterfall. Uh, that was a really, really poor play on my part. That was really, really poor. Like, absurdly poor. Uh, yeah, I'm not playing very well this episode. And I apologize, tell you. So, this bitch, he's gonna go into that Landris. Because he will die to a Thunderbolt. 
so I'm gonna fire off the HP Ice. It'll knock out the Sableye, it'll kill the Noivern, but going to a Noivern would be a dumb move. I think his only real move is the Landorus if he's predicting a Thunderbolt, and I think he will. I don't think he's expecting me to go for the HP Ice. And if we can knock out that Landorus, that'd be really, really, really nice for us. But we will see. Yep, he goes in the Landorus, he's gonna die to an HP Ice, so it's good for us. He does. Now, he has a lot of things he can go into. He can go into Sableye and recover, which is what I'm hoping he doesn't do. That's what I want him to do the least. He goes in the Neuvern. I'm gonna go into Chansey. Even if he just U-turns out, that's fine. His Neuvern is switching in and taking all of that damage. I'm not a big fan of pulling doubles or U-turns into plays like that. Yeah, he Dracos and that's just delicious. So that doesn't do anything. Uh, I'm gonna Toxic because he has nothing. Uh... I'm gonna... Frick. I'm gonna Toxic. He is a Roosting Neuvern, that's really interesting. So it's nice that we got the Toxic off on it. Because now we're just gonna keep doing residual damage, and now we get a free wish. And I think I'm just gonna protect... Next. Because he's gonna go into a Sableye. I get my wish off. He can recover, but I can also Toxic him. So I'm not trying to Toxic stall, guys, but I think that might be what's gonna happen here. I'm really, really sorry. From the bottom of my heart. And I miss my Toxic. Uh, I, you know, kind of deserve it. More than kinda, probably. But what's nice is now, my Raikou has, he has no switch-ins to my Raikou. So, that Sableye is a problem. So I need to whittle him. Oh, he's Taunt! Uh, nicely done. So now he's probably gonna go for the knockoff. I'm just gonna go on the Landers, get the Intimidate off, and then I'm gonna switch out. He willows the Landers, and he misses! God is good. Now this Sableye, I need to Toxic it. I'm gonna U-turn because I don't care if Landorus is burned, because he's, he doesn't need to deal damage. Like, at all. So I'm gonna U-turn. He's free to Willow me. That's great, enjoy. I get a little bit of U-turn damage off, and then I go into Raikou and I can fire off a Thunderbolt. And he has no switches to it, like I said. So he willows my Raikou, and he misses again, so he's getting a little bit unlucky with his hat, and not crit him. Oh, that's what you get. Uh, so we're actually in a much better spot now, because Raikou can just put in so much work. Some would say all of the work. So he brings in the Neuvern, it's really the only move he can make. Uh, he can roost up, but that's fine, I go into Chansey and get a free wish. Or uh, I can just go into Chansey and I'm just going to start firing off seismic costs. He goes into Keldeo, good double. Uh, I find Bolt Switch there, he been fucked. Can I curse on? I can curse on. I'm gonna protect again. He can do. He can switch out if he wants. I just want to scout what he goes. He goes for. Now he goes for the secret sword. So now we get switching the landers, and we know that he's locked into it. So he doesn't want to stay and take an earthquake. Huh? Uh, he might predict me to do turn again because I did it before. It's the only move I've done with Landorus outside of Stone Edge. But if he does, it's just a free switch back in the chance. So that Neuvern just keeps taking damage. He might die to toxic damage. No, he won't die to toxic damage. But now I get to go into Dragonite. And I can start. I'm going to E-Speed to prevent him from doing that Bruce shenanigans. Here's where I wish Dragonite was banded. But now he doesn't really have anything for Dragonite. I outspeed that. Zumaril, his Keldeo can't switch up moves early, so getting up rocks with Landorus early won me the game. So even though I don't have multi-scale, that Azumarill can knock me out with one shot. I don't know if he'll live an earthquake. Let's see. I mean, Azumarill's bulky, but if he's a salt vest, it's a little bit more stirred on the special side. Yeah, so it looks like Dragonite is probably going to clean up. So we had a nice 4-0 that did not showcase Mega Metagross. We might actually get a 3-0 because I'm just going to E-speed him. And we'll see what he does. So we've had a loss, and he misses the Hydro Pump. That hacks is really bad for this guy, I feel bad. So we got a nice 4 out. So we went from uh, losing a game, in which I played very poorly. Oh, he's just good at that. To winning a game, where I didn't play great, but kind of made up some ground at the end. So I played a little bit better. So we're going to do one more. Hopefully Metagross can do a little bit more. 
he's kind of every time I do one of these, it turns like the mega I try to showcase. I try to showcase it like too hard and it dies. I gotta be more patient. Oh, this is horrible. I heartily dislike this guy's team. No, I hate it. He's, it's, I mean, it's very, very well constructed. He's got that mega Altaria. He's such a bitch. But he is good checks to build Metagross because I don't have Thunder Punch on him anymore. So I need to kill the Skarmory. That would be nice. Another, I just don't have anything for Rotoms. But what's cool is that he has no. Uh, so that's probably one of those suicide sad leave. So I'm just gonna hold switch. Three, I can't have a problem, man. That thing is so strong. Oh, I'm rash nature though, so he's gonna outspeed me. Yeah, that was a problem. Because normally I outspeed by a lot, but because. Yeah. So he's gonna be intimidated. I'm gonna get up some rest. Uh, he doesn't have. He has a debugger with Skarmory, but if I can try to force him to debug, I can get some free switches into uh, Raikou. And. Part of me, we can just. I like to get this one chat. So he's got that Rotom. He can do a myriad of things. He can burn me. So I think it's the rest of Bisharp. Uh, I need to kill Bisharp. I have two dark weaknesses that I need to deal with. I'm going to U-turn. I think he's just going to willow us. And we're going to see how he goes with this. This guy is a team that matches up very well with mine. I don't know how well this will go. But once the Rotom is dead and the Skarmory is dead. So I'm going to go to Chansey. Chansey Walls wrote him for just four nights. That bitch. Now passing a wish into Raikou is very, very difficult. So uh, I'm just going to wish. I'm curious to see what he goes into. Uh, his Ter Terrakion could be Scarf, so he's going to go into that Skarmory now. I get my wish. I'm going to go into Raikou. If he wants to whirl with me, whatever, I think he's gonna defog, and if I can just get some more health back, he break live! Fuck! Damn it. Uh, so that's really, really bad for me. Because now he can get rid of my rocks. I'm gonna Thunderbolt, it'll deal damage to everything. Uh, even the Rotom doesn't really want to take a Thunderbolt from Starmie. That sucks I lost the Raikou. Uh, that was a big, big problem. So he goes in the Scizor. Scizor is gonna get thunderbolted. He doesn't take it too well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm just playing risky today. Uh, I get to kill the Scizor, which is nice because then that Scizor doesn't get to do anything. Now the problem is if he goes into that Bisharp, bitch. Ah, uh, he might be a pursuit trapper, but he's more than likely just gonna go for the swords dance. Stop. Chill. I could E speed, but I'll live one hit from him. So I'm gonna Earthquake, and that brings him down to five. And then he Iron Heads and crits me. But he dies to Life Orb, so that's one big threat gone. So that's really nice for us. Good for us, guys. Now he goes in that fucking Altaria. Now, I don't know what kind of Altaria this is, but I can Revenge kill him with Metagross. So I'm going to... He can Mega. I think he's gonna Mega, so I'm just gonna Earthquake and deal some damage to the bitch. 34%. He goes for the Flamethrower. Doesn't kill me. And he forfeits. I guess he was expecting a different outcome there. Uh, so it's really nice that he forfeited. He could've... Man, that sucks. I want to see how that ended, because that would've been close. Uh, I could've gone into Metagross, and then I would've had to do all kinds of double shenanigans. I mean, the dude had me in a good spot, but I guess he didn't. Losing the Scizor and his two biggest offensive threats. I guess we're good. I hate Altaria. I hate it so much. I love how it looks because it looks just like death in a by cloud. But since Auras came out, I've been swept by Mega Altaria more than any other thing, and like it's not close. 
Uh, Altara and Honchkoro are the two guys that always seem to sweep me. But I guess when you look at this team, it makes sense. So we are at 30 minutes, just about. Uh, that's going to be it for me. Like I said before, make sure you guys are following. The, follow the LBA on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. I'm at Sancho Bogut. I'm, uh, I'm a good follow. I tweet about basketball, and I tweet like once a day about some random Pokemon type deal. So if you're into that, I don't clog up your timeline of traffic, so let's go with that. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. Uh, leave a like if you didn't like the video. I just humor me a little bit. I'd appreciate it. Just, you know, show support for me even if you don't like me, I guess, is the moral there. Yeah. So, uh, also, Lithio Channel. If you're watching this, I'm assuming that you're sub to it, but if you haven't, you might want to give it a sub. They have a lot of good content. Every, almost every day there's something that comes out. We have uh, Shadow, who's a really good battler. He has interesting sets, one of which I'm stealing for the LBA, that he showcases every week and that he battles with it, which is always really cool, uh, even if he doesn't upload when I whip him. And then uh, there's also Terran, Terralution, who's the LBA is like his, not the LBA, Lithio is like his brainchild. So follow him. And also he does videos here a couple times a week that are always good, free-for-alls that are always really funny. Uh, he does his Nuzlocke that he's doing. He also does BGC Thursdays, which is always a good little video he's got going on. I realize I'm rambling, but just bear with me, guys. I'm sorry. We've got a lot of things about Lithio to talk about. The Lithio season is starting up in about a week. It's really, really good. I'm challenging this season. I'm going to be the champion here, here, which is nice because you guys get to watch my showdown videos and be like, oh, he's using some sets that he uses in Lithio that he won the championship with. So enjoy that. Uh, the Lithio region, if you guys are up for a challenge, challenging the gyms and the E4 is a really, really fun time. Some of the gym leaders would be E4, and I, obviously, obviously I'm pretty biased because I've been in E4, but the gym leaders in the E4 are really, really challenging. Uh, people like Xenon and Anima YouTubers have done it, and they had some issues. Both of them lost to the Rain team, the Rain E4 last uh, season, who I'm told was just outstanding in both team building and execution of his Pokemon. So that was really fun. So Lithio is a really big uh, challenge for people. It's a really, really good competitively, but it's also really fun. And everybody who's in it is awesome, with the exception of Tipster Jones. He's just the worst. Uh, I'm just kidding, obviously. I love Matt. If Matt, if you're watching this drunk somewhere at 3 a.m. in South Africa, don't hold it against me. I'm not serious. He also has a good channel, but I'm not going to plug him here. He's NU Kid on the block. So yeah, follow him too. I've rambled for long enough, so I appreciate you guys pandering to me and listening. For all four of you that are still probably listening, I love each and every one of you. So follow me on Twitter, follow Lithio on Twitter, like and sub. The Lithio channel's gotten like 11 subs in the last couple of days. It's starting to get some good growth with this content that's coming out, so we'll try to keep that going. So if you guys enjoyed it, I hope you did. Leave suggestions to guys for me to use. Leave suggestions for me to improve the way I do these videos. If you'd rather me go over my teams before I battle, if you'd rather me have a less annoying voice, by all means, leave suggestions. But I appreciate all your guys' support. Hope you guys have a great end of your week and a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys.